Guten Tag, Year 3. Uh, welcome to our first German lesson on YouTube. Uh, as always, I'm quickly going to share my screen so we can work through the lesson together. Um, today, we're going to focus on learning German words for different colours. Um, but before we move on to that, I've got some questions that I want to ask you to recap on some of the learning we've been doing in school. So the first one's very open. What have we been learning about recently? Maybe you can remember some of the ways to say hello. I've given you one at the beginning. Maybe you can think um, of the different animals we've been learning about, and there's some on the screen to help you there. Last week, we played um, the German version of Simon Says, Hans sagt, and we learned the word for dance and how to do it fast or slow or loud or quietly. And again, you might be able to spot some of those words on the screen now. Um, so have a quick think, recap on what you know, maybe tell someone in the room, maybe just shout it out to the screen um, to practice saying those things that you know. Um, and I'm going to draw your attention to a few of the things that I remember from uh, our recent German lessons. So der Hund is the word for dog, and I can see that on our knowledge organizer on the screen. Die Giraffe is the word for giraffe. Uh, das Krokodil is the word for crocodile. Das Schwein is the word for pig. So lots of animals we've been doing over the last week or two. And we also did um, schnell for doing something fast and langsam for doing something slowly. And the word for dance was tanzen. And we did that when we get played our game of Hans Sagt last time. So there's some of those bits of the key vocabulary, just to recap what we've been doing in previous lessons. Now for today, we're gonna to move on to German colors. Do you know any German colors already? Think to yourself. Maybe you remember some from the register. Occasionally we have used the German colors for our lunch register in the morning. I'll give you a moment, can you think back? If you've ordered red, what have I sometimes repeated to you? If you've ordered green, what have I sometimes repeated to you? And the same for white and for yellow. We'll move on, we'll have a look together. So the main colors we're gonna look at today is blue, and we say blau, and maybe you can repeat some of these back to the screen so you can practice them too. Then we have red, which is rot, then we have green, which is grun, then we have black, which is schwarz, then we have gray, which is grau, then we have pink, which is rosa, then we have yellow, which is gelb, then we have purple, which is lila, then we have white, which is weiss, then we have gold, which is the same. And we have brown, which is spelt a bit differently, but a similar pronunciation, brown. And then we have multicolored or colorful, which is bunt. As a mini challenge, can you find maybe an item around you in your house, in your home, um, and say what color it is? For example, I have a relatively blue book here, and I might say, das ist blau. What else can you find? Maybe find a few things and say the color of them. And if you want some extra time to do that, um, pause the video now and have a go at doing that. We'll come back together there. As a bit of an extra challenge, if you wanted to, you could test um, your parents, your carers with their German as well by asking them a question. So for example, you might hold up something, I've got a green book here and I might say, is das rot? And they could say, ja, yes, or nein, no. And this isn't rot, this isn't red, so that answer would be nine. Moving on. For your main challenge today, uh, I want you to find any three objects from around your house. And you're very simply going to have a go at drawing a picture of them. Um, I've given you an example of the board. I found a red cup and I've had a go at drawing that red cup. And underneath, I've written, das is rot. So I'm getting used to writing some of those colors in full sentences in German, which shows how far we've come. We've come from learning a few phrases in German to beginning to write short, simple sentences in German too. So perhaps you can have a go at doing that. If you want um, some help with that, so you can feel free to flick back in the video to this slide, which I'm gonna show you one more time, or pause it now so you can keep those colors on the screen. As always, Feel free to send in some pictures of your learning. It'd be great to see how you've been getting on with them um, for me to see 
them through the email accounts and it can be sent to the usual email accounts. Thanks very much for listening, you three. Danke schön. And we will see you next time. Bis bald.